Hi guys, I'm here today with a new haul from a company that I think is called Naked. My name is Fawn and this is my channel and it's my happy place. And I show you my friends, my special friends, um, all the things I buy, all the things I try and um, generally have a laugh when I'm doing it. So if you like that kind of thing, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. Some of you guys are being brilliant and you're asking me to try some new things or new brands. And I can't remember, I've looked online and I cannot find the lady who said, would I please try Naked? But I went on the website and I thought, come on, let's give it a go. So here we go. We're going to be learning on this one together, guys, because the sizing was very difficult to work out. You know, I am a bit of very little brain when it comes to sizing. Um, and so I've done my best, but they could be too big, too small, <laughs> they could be anything. But here we go. So I ordered, let me see, one, two, three, four, five things. And they're all to do with my quest at the moment for um, sweaters and sweater vests, I think they call them. We call them t knitted tank tops to go with dresses. Not this dress, I have to say. I'll have to change dress to see if these work. But let's get into them and we can have a chat. So first up, yes, this is the way EU sizing, you see. Oh, but I've gone bigger rather than smaller, I think. I'm hoping. <laughs> so first up is this one, which is a cropped cardigan. It's a head over style. Can you see? It's not open, so I shouldn't really call it a cardigan, should I? It's more of a jumper, but it's open. Oh, let's undo it. Oh, hook an eye, there we go. So it's got this V-neck, it's got quite a high neck, it's got long sleeves, it's this lovely Aran knit, which I do love, but it's cropped. So I'm hoping that it will sit at just the right place with a dress on, who knows? Now I ordered a size 50 because I, I have no idea what a 50 is, and I paid, where's the bill? Okay, there are no prices on the receipt. So, sorry, I had to run downstairs and get my phone, because they're one of these companies that don't put the prices on the receipt. So, back to the beautiful, I do think this is lovely. Um, it is so thick, ladies, it's really nice. I like it a lot, and it's 23 pounds. And 6p, they're one of those funny companies. 23 and 6. I have high hopes, but I could look absolutely bananas in it. Next, I found an actual knitted tank top. I've been looking everywhere. Finally found one. It's in a sort of a camely colour. I mean, it's not the best colour on me, but it's not the worst. It is short in the body, cable knit on the front, plain on the back. And what I liked about it is that it has a V-neck. Um, this is an XL because what's the sizing? Um, this is the XL and this was £28.95p and it is nice. I bought all sorts of things from this lot so it's not just the jumpers. I also bought a houndstooth one which I'm looking at it now and I really don't feel is me but I will show anyway. So again, a knitted tank top, it's not really me, is it? Um, they're calling that houndstooth. I would not call that houndstooth. I don't know what I'd call it, but I wouldn't call it houndstooth. Um, but again, basic, this one's a smooth, no cable knit, just plain. Um, and this one was, I'm looking over here because of the phone. This one was 20 pounds and 26p. I think the pattern's gonna be too busy for most of my dresses. Then I think I might have picked up a dress and a pair of trousers. <laughs> Late night shopping, ladies. Here we go. This is indeed a dress. Okay, and it's just not at all what I expected it to be. It's like a summer beach dress. I mean, look at the size of the top of that. That is minuscule. That is absolutely min <laughs> minuscule. And just a long flip. It's a beach dress. It's a t-shirt maxi beach dress, which is just not how it looked. They called it flowy midi dress. It just, well, okay. 
14.97 i will pull it on for you guys so you can have a laugh but it's a summer dress so um and not a spectacular one at that and then the very last thing i picked up was a pair of trousers and trousers are not really my friend so they are the hardest thing for me to buy to find a pair of trousers that i really love is absolutely one of the hardest things i do um and these are black of course let's have a look oh they're pull on Ooh, yes they're pull on they're wide legged they have a seam a sewn seam on the front edge um i got an eu 48 in these do they have pocket no pockets so no disguising what's going on i've got a feeling these are going to be hideous ladies but you don't know unless you try so <laughs> here we go this is my naked haul. oh how much did i pay for the trousers i paid um trousers 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 where are you 28 sorry 28.95 yeah no <laughs> let's go i thought i'd start with the trousers ladies <laughs> they are so bad they are nylon they're about as nylon as they can they are also epically long can you see that my foot is i've skidded on these trousers twice wearing my shoes there are no pockets um they cup they cut my belly in the most beautiful way i mean they literally have nothing going for them and to think they're 28 pounds and i would need to be a good six foot for these trousers not to trip me up um i don't really know what else to say about them i mean look that's and then i can walk quite safely i've got to hang on to them <laughs> so that i don't go you know falling all over the bedroom floor <laughs> So the trousers are most definitely a no. Here is the uh, flowy midi dress, as they call it. I mean, it's a summer t-shirt dress in anyone's money, and it's not even a good one. It's very close fitting over the boobs. The arms are cut in, so you can see that my bra is, is out. Um, I suppose the length is okay. It's not even, in my opinion, that flowy. It is full, but it's not flowy to me is, is quite you know lots of fabric um i don't know what they're doing selling this at this time of the year i really don't i did know it was short sleeved i knew it was a black short sleeve, but i thought you'd jump her over the top brilliant but um there's nothing brilliant about this is there i might have paid a fiver for it um in the summer for when i was wandering around in the garden but that's about all i could say for it <laughs> okay so i put on one of my dresses and I slipped this on the top. Now this is to replace a coat. That's the concept of it. And to make a dress wearable all the time. And I kind of like it. I think I probably should have gone smaller. It feels quite big on me. So I probably should have gone smaller, but I think I'm on to something. Don't know whether this is the right one, but I love the cable stitching. You come in. I think the cable stitching is lovely. I really like the V-neck. You can hook an eye in there so that it will stay, you know, up to your neck if you want to. It re I'm onto something. I'm onto something, but I'm not sure that this is it. Obviously, it's cream, and cream that isn't ideal for this dress. Black would have been better. But I'm not sure. Ladies, let me know. What do you think of this as an idea instead of a coat? Oh my God, I'm so hot. <laughs> I had it in my head with this one but I could put it on with plain black dresses and I think the fit is better on this one it is coming into my sides um, I love the v-neck the arms are a bit wide but far prefer that to the in cut but unfortunately the color is just it's wrong it's not hand that to me is not hands tooth <laughs> um, so it won't work with the majority of the stuff in my wardrobe. As I said, I was thinking of it with a black dress. And I still think, for those of you that wear black trousers and, and a lot, this could be great. But I wear a lot of patterns anyway. And if this doesn't work perfectly for me, 
I shouldn't keep it, should I? But I'll do a spin. Again, this is the whole idea instead of um, wearing a coat. Please bear in mind, I would never have worn it with this particular dress, but I'm not gonna pull a black one on right now. Uh, but that was my idea, it was a black dress and this. Am I barking up the wrong tree, ladies? <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> what a bust. I have not done very well with naked. I will try them again because obviously my picking has got something to do with it and I'm now getting a feel of their sizing. This one fits really well. This, this is fitting me, but the V is not working right and I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it that's not right here. Um, you know, something like this in black, I would be over the moon. It's beautiful cable knit. It's playing on the back. Um, but the colour isn't working and that's always the difficulty with choosing colours online when they're in the creams and the camels and the caramels. You sort of hope for more than you get. So I still think something like this will work and I'm going to keep looking for it. But unfortunately, this isn't it. So that was that. Um, I don't know if I've done right by naked, so I will probably do another haul with them at another time. Because um, maybe this was just really bad picking on my part, late night shopping. Um, but I have learned to be wary of, you know, if they say something's a flowy midi dress, really scrutinize it, because that was a summer dress in anyone's money. Uh, <laughs> uh, watch out with the trouser length. Um, but their, their knits were nice, guys. The quality of the knits were very, very nice. I've got to say that. They were wrong for me. They were the wrong style and the wrong colours and so on. But the actual quality of the knits, I could not complain. There were no nasty smells. There was nothing funny about them. And as I say, that cream one with long sleeves, I'm kind of still churning that one in my head. So anyway, um, that's me. I'm boiling. I'm going to, have to take a break now. <laughs> And I'll see you again really, really soon. Bye, guys.